All right, coach, what is up? I want to dive into a topic. I'm gonna keep this under three minutes. Please take notes because if you're looking to build an online coaching business, if you're looking to get clients, if you're looking to bring attention to your actual programs, to get calls booked, to actually start conversations, to build forward momentum, this is vital, this is important, this is fundamental. And this is something that I just need you understanding. And not even intellectually, but actually feeling and actually implementing and actually using. Very simple concept. If nobody knows about your offers, if nobody knows about your programs, if nobody reads your actual sales pages, nothing is going to happen. You could be you could be the world's best coach in the world, but if no one knows about what it is you do, or deeper than that, no one understands what it is you do, no one's going to get in communication with you. No one's going to reach out, or if they do, it's just going to be sporadic, and it's not going to be consistent. If you want to break those 10K, 20K, 30K, if you want to create true freedom, if you want actual clients paying you and working with you and always reaching out to you and wanting to dive into your services and what it is you offer, whether that's one-on-one or group or your programs, I just want you to get obsessed with articulating, with communicating what it is you do. And this is what I want you to understand. And this is what this whole thing is about. It's a feeling that you sell. It is the outcome, it is the future self, it is the future result and the feeling that comes with that result. That's what you sell. You don't sell coaching, you don't sell a program, you don't sell calls, you don't sell your membership site. That's just the vehicle to help get you there. Please tap into or understand the idea that you're selling the emotion. And if you can't connect with your clients or with your potential clients, with the people reading your sales page at that level, if you're just trying to connect intellectually, you're going to fail to have your potential clients or your prospects or the people reading your stuff or watching your videos moved emotionally. Remember, emotion, energy in motion. If you're going to have people actually scrolling through and actually clicking and actually doing something, actually going through to the next thing and actually booking a call, you've got to connect emotionally. If you don't do that, and I'm reading, I read people's sales pages and their stuff and their landing pages and their offers all of the time. That's what I do for my freaking entire, that's my obsession. I know it's kind of a weird one, but that's literally what I do with clients. And it, more often than 90% of the time, it's failing to connect emotionally. It's failing to share a story. It's failing to share some vulnerability. It's failing to talk about what the potential outcome could be if they do the work. It just talks logically. It talks about the benefits. It talks about the features. And then the benefits are really weak. They're still intellectually uh, constructed. So have a look through all of your stuff and see if you can, like every, every scroll of the page, am I connecting emotionally? Every 30 seconds of video, did I connect emotionally in some way? Did I paint the future picture? Did I share a story? Like when I first started, it was completely intellectual. All these marketers were telling me what to write, so I wrote and nothing ever happened. When I started sharing my story and the pain I went through, the things I went through, the depression that I went through, and, and this is way back in the fitness days, all of a sudden, things started connecting, things started clicking. People started reaching out, people started connecting, and that connection led to conversation, and con conversations led to clients, and that could be the missing piece for you. We have a full-length podcast episode on that. It's like 25, 30 minutes long. If you haven't checked that out, make sure you check that out. That's at lucasrubix.com, www.lucasrubix.com, and 866-YO-RUBIX. That number will connect you with the team. Reach out, shoot a message. If you're stuck, if you're frustrated, if you have no idea what the hell you're doing, 1-866-YO-RUBIX, connect with the team. They will lead you to the right piece of content, the right podcast, the right... You'll get the help you need, but you've just got to own the fact. So one, I'm gonna I'm gonna end this with one quick thing. I sent an email to a list. Uh, I don't know. It was probably five or six thousand coaches, asking how can I help, and a large response said I'm good. And I like going down the rabbit hole. So like, oh, are they good? And they're struggling, but the ego won't move aside and say, you know what? I need help. I could get there faster. I'm, I I have these questions. I, I don't know what I'm doing. Could you help? And just by saying I'm good or I don't need help, you're literally blocking yourself from getting the help that you potentially could get. And you'll be amazed at how much we value creating specific content and creating content that actually gets people resolved. So if you're stuck, first thing, admit you're stuck. Say, hey, you know what? I'm stuck. I could be moving faster. I don't know what to do. Can you help? And you'd be amazed at how quick that help comes. Uh, whether you're paying us or not, we've got a lot of stuff 
to send you. 1-866-YO-RUBIX, www.lucasrubix.com. If you have questions, connect emotionally, my friends. Connect emotionally, energy in motion. Emotion. Cool, got it, good, take it or leave it. I take it and I'll see you in the next video. When did wanting more become such a bad thing? I've always lived my life with this simple philosophy that when everyone is going left, you go right. When everyone is doing things one way, you go the other. You do not conform, you do not blend in, you do not blindly follow the masses. For as long as you stay a sheep, you will never get what you want. Now, all I'm asking you is that you go after that thing you want with a relentless drive, no matter what anyone thinks of you, no matter what the world says of you, no matter how you feel or how tired you may be, you go after it like your life depends on it. The only question I have for you is are you willing to do whatever it takes?